Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to make another stuffed owl, but this one's more of like a pillow because it's flat, so I'm going to call it an owl pillow. And it's inspired by this picture that I've had saved on my computer forever. I have no idea where I found it, somewhere on the internet. And I don't know if um, the one in the picture was handmade or store-bought. I have no idea, but I made my own pattern from the picture, like based off of it looking at it. So here's a picture of the owl that inspired me to make this. So as you can see, it's adorable and I love owls, so I had to make it. So, so the pattern I made from that picture has four pieces and they're all uh, to be cut on the fold except one. So this is for the back, looks like that. And then these two go like that. As you saw in the picture, it was a different fabric for this piece and this piece, so that's why it's separate. So there's those two cut on the fold and then this is the shape for the wing. That's not on a fold, but you need to flip it to make the other side. And these are just uh, the different size circles for the eyes. And you also need like a little triangle for the beak, but you can just freehand that. For this you need four different fabrics, at least that's what I'm using. I'm using a uh, yellow fleece for the back part, just because it's nice and soft. And then for the wings and the face and the belly, I'm using these three. Coordinating, they're just uh, cotton. For the eyes, you'll also need three different colors of... Uh, felt so I just have yellow dark brown and light brown and you'll also need yellow for the beak You'll also need something to go um, Between the face and the belly like you saw in the picture. That's optional. I guess but I think it just adds to it. So I'm gonna use a uh, rickrack you can use lace or Any kind of like edging to put there just for something extra The other things you'll need for this project are just regular sewing stuff sewing machine needle and thread uh, pins stuffing scissors and a glue gun or craft glue. So now that you have all your supplies together, let's get started. First step is to cut out your fabric. So I'm starting with my yellow fleece and the back piece. So I have it folded in half because this needs to be cut on the fold. So I'm just going to line up the straight edge on the fold here. I'm going to pin it down and then cut around the entire thing with about a half inch seam allowance. The same thing with the front tummy piece on um, another color of fabric, which I have folded in half. And I'm going to line up the straight edge again on the fold, pin around the whole thing, and cut it out with a half inch seam allowance. Next up is the front face pattern piece on my third fabric. Again, folded in half, straight edge up on the fold. I'm going to pin it, cut out half inch seam allowance. Next up is the wing pattern piece with my fourth fabric and we need four of these so I just have my fabric folded in half twice so I'm cutting through four layers. I'm just going to do the same thing, pin it down, cut it out with a half inch seam allowance. The next step is to take your four wing pieces and you want to divide them into um, two sets of two because we're going to be sewing these right sides together and then turning them inside out. So we're only going to be sewing one edge so the easiest way to find what edge to fold is to take your front belly piece and line them up because the curve on either side is different so just put them whichever curve lines up on the outside with the straight edge at the top like that. We're going to be sewing these edges here. So I'm just going to pin along there and then sew them. So I just sewed along that one curve on each uh, wing piece. So now I'm just going to clip the curves and then turn them right side out. Now that I have my wing pieces turned right side out, I'm going to bring back my uh, front belly piece right side up and now I'm going to pin the wing pieces on the front, so just lining it up the same way I did before. And I'm just going to pin them into place. Now I have my wing pieces um, pinned to the right side of the bottom belly piece, like this. And you don't need to worry about the side or the top because um, 
those seams will get sewn up later. So I'm just going to sew along here where I pinned with a zigzag stitch just to tack them down. So now we have this. You can see I just zigzag stitched those wings on there. So the next step is to bring up your uh, face piece. You're going to have um, your bottom belly and wing piece right side up and you're going to flip your face piece right side down so you're lining up these straight edges and this is the part where if you're using lace or something you would sandwich it between these two layers so when you sew across it'll just be sticking out but since I'm using this rickrack it's really small and it would probably get lost when I sew these layers together so I'm going to save that and um, glue it on top of that seam once it's sewn so put that back so they're right sides together I'm just going to pin along here and then just sew it with a straight stitch. So I sewed those two pieces together and then I would used my glue gun to glue that strip of uh, rickrack across the seam. So it looks like that. So the next step is to attach this to your back piece. So I'm going to take the back piece, which is my yellow fleece here, lay it right side up. And then I'm going to take this piece that I just sewed together and lay it right side down right on top just make sure it's all lined up like that so now I'm just gonna pin around the whole thing but right at the bottom here I'm gonna leave like a three inch gap where I'm not gonna sew so I can turn it right side out so I'm gonna start pinning here go all the way around and here and then I'm gonna sew along where I pinned with a straight stitch so here's the whole thing sewn together as you can see and um, this is where we're going to turn it inside out through that hole, but first you want to clip um, all the seams because the whole thing's round. It's just going to help turning it inside out easier. So I'm just going to clip the seams and then turn it right side out through that hole. So there it is all turned right side out and it's almost done. And you can see here I have a little beak cut out of yellow felt. And these are the pieces for the eyes. It's just three different colors and sizes of circles. So. I'm just going to use my glue gun to glue them together like that to make a little eye and then I'm going to glue it like right there on both sides for the face. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to stuff it and um, I'm just going to use my glue gun to close up this bottom seam. You can hand sew it but I hate hand sewing so I'm just going to glue it and then I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Alright so I finished stuffing my owl and putting his face on and here's what he looks like. It's really cute. There's the front and the back. It's really soft and squishy. And yeah, there he is. And here's another one I made earlier. It's a really girly one. You can see I used lace there. And it's got little bows up here. So yeah, there's that one. It's pink on the back. So there's my two little owlies. And um, the size of the pattern that I'm, I'll have links for below um, gives you about a 10 inch diameter owl. So, of course, you can increase or decrease the pattern size depending on how big you want your little pillows to be. So, I hope this video was helpful and have fun making little owl pillows. Thanks for watching. Bye.